Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And God told me to warn you. He said, don't go back there. Don't go back there. No matter the situation that you find yourself, don't go back to the place where God brought you out from. This is a very direct, this is a very strong and a direct word to somebody. You might be saying that since you left those things that you used to do, you might be saying that our ah, life has become more difficult. But God is telling you not to go back. Because going back is not an option. Hallelujah. Going back is not an option. You know, you did not just bear, resist, you know, pray and fast to this point to give everything out just because, to give everything up just because you are like the things you want to see, the change you want to see have not happened. The change will happen. I need you to understand, child of God, that devil does not give a free gift. The reason why you feel more heavily attacked after you have left some certain things behind, it is because they know you are not in the right path. You being in the right path will always provoke the kingdom of darkness. It will always provoke the kingdom of darkness. No deeds and no peace. Don't go back. Of a truth, God has no pleasure. He has no pleasure on those that go back. On those that look back and said, I am not doing again. I am tired now. I don't want to serve God again. God is not interested in those that look back. Child of God, don't go back. Don't go back. This is serious. I don't know why I'm hearing this word. You know, sometimes we can be so tempted because of our current situation. We are like, let me just go and look for solutions somewhere. God is the solution that you need. And when you have God, you have solution. It does not matter the situation that you find yourself. When you have God, you have everything that you need. Because in that goal that you have, there is solution. In that goal that you have, there is freedom. In that goal that you have, there is healing. Child of God, don't go back. Don't go back there. Don't go back there. A place where they will convince you to do one or two things. Because, oh, do this and do that. If you do this, if you pour, if you miss and miss this, be very careful. Be very, very careful. Many believers are bringing different kinds of satanic objects into their home, all in the name of deliverance. Deliverance comes through the word of God. Yes, I know deliverance can come through objects, just like the way, you know, Peter was, you know, the anchor chief and all of that that we know about. The, the sweat that come out from their body, their shadow, how people got delivered, how people got healed. I'm not saying that don't use objects. You know, for prayers and all of that. But be careful where you get this object from. If it is something that, that I don't know, I feel this so heavily. Many people are bringing different kinds of objects into their home in the name of deliverance. Adding problem to problem. How can somebody say that they want to collect something in the spirit? What are they collecting that you should pay for it? They want to collect something. They want to collect something. Sometimes... We need to learn how to pray ourselves out. They want to collect something. Oh, they want to look at your name. Oh, they need your clothes. They want to look at it. The last perfume that you spray, they want to know how the scent is. You know, people spray different kinds of things now. All in the name of deliverance. There are people selling perfume. They are like, when you spray this perfume... Oh, uh, anywhere you go, you will find favor. No. God is not a magician. God is not a soothsayer. He's God. The head of principalities and power. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let's be careful. 
what we take into our life, what we take into our home, or in the name of deliverance. Let's be careful. This is very important. I am not condemning those who are selling objects, you know, who are selling materials for healing. There are some who are rich. I am not condemning that, but we need to be very, very careful so that people don't, we don't, people don't sell out their destiny. When someone is looking for deliverance, it will not start seeing snakes in their dream, start seeing different kinds of things in their dream. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God is saying, don't go back there. A place where you are not welcome, you should not be welcome, don't welcome yourself. In the gathering of evil, don't welcome yourself because you are not welcome there. When you step into such places, they look at you, okay, he has come, she has come. They don't welcome you. They destroy you. That is what they do. They destroy the, the person that come. You that is not welcome in the place of in the gathering of the enemy, what are you doing there? The moment you step there, they are not going to tell you welcome the way they welcome their own members. They are going to look at you and say, okay, he has finally stepped into this place. I've heard of a places, I've heard of places. You see the reason why this prophetic prophecy, prophecy in this generation, why we need to be very careful. Prophecy is real, you know, miracles are real. The word of God is prophecy and it is real and it is power. You, but we need to be very careful. I heard of a place where somebody, when you step into the place, they say when you step into the place, it's like a church. They do it, they did like a church, but it's not a church of God. I, because a house of God cannot have those kind of fun, demonic function. It is a place that appears as if it's for God, but it's not for God. They say the moment you step into the into the place, into the auditorium, the moment you step into there, that the person, the man of God, we, we see everything about your life. Like not during prayer, not prophecy, not like the moment you step in, that is a place you will stand and they will see everything. They will see everything. Your grand, I'm like, oh, what is that? So for everyone that step in to go and look for a solution, once they see the man tell them to stand in that particular spot, he will see everything. But he sees those things and he does not. There is no solution. There are great prophets on this earth. They will see everything about you. They will see the problem that you are facing. And they will pray for you. And that problem will end. But you see the ones that are seeing problems, seeing problems, seeing problems. They cannot even pray and the problem are there. They just tell you your grandmother was this, your grandfather. They don't tell you this is what to do. You have to pray. You have to do this. You have to serve God. You have to draw close to God. You have to be safe. Be careful of these people. Don't go back to a place where you are not welcome. Don't force yourself back there. Because everyone that look back might not return to go forward. Remember what happened to Lot's wife. God gave a warning. He gave a direction. He said that they should not look back. He gave a warning to Lot, his wife, and his two daughters. Leave the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. Don't look back because you don't belong there. Oh. He said, just be going focus. God give commandments. When people break their commandment and calamities start happening, people start blaming God. God give a warning before anything. Thou shalt not serve any other God. This, that. People will go and serve another God. The moment disaster happened, they will start blaming God. Where was God? God did not see the disaster. Just like what happened in Brazil the last time. They were mocking. They were mocking God. Mocking. They mock God. You know, like, the, like what happened in France during the Olympics or whatever. God was mocked in that place. The last supper was mocked and you will see Christians defending them. It's not everything is spiritual. You people should get over it. They get over what? When disaster struck tomorrow now, they will start saying, ah, where is God? Uh, the God did not see that this thing wants to happen. But he said we should not go. He said God is not mock. Whatever a man saw, he reap. God cannot be mock. For everyone that have ever mocked God, it does not end well 
for them. It didn't end well for them. Hallelujah. Thank God there were people, there were Christians in those nations that came out and started praying for mercy. That started protesting that no, this land is a land of the Lord, this, that. And the world, there are a lot of people that also rose up against what was going on in the world. Hallelujah. Remember Lord's wife, look back. I know somebody is going to say, why would God even allow Lord's wife to turn to a pillar of salt, leaving the two children and husband behind? When the edge is broken, the serpent will bite. The Bible says in the book of Genesis 19, 26, it said, but, it said, but, oh, it said, but, which is, but, it finally happened. Lot's wife, behind Lot, looked back and she became a pillar of salt. Don't go back there. I know you need solution, but God said, don't go back there. It's the solution that you need. Hang in, dear child of God. I know it is a narrow road. Sometimes it can be very, very tough. Sometimes it can be very, very hard. Sometimes it can be frustrating and confusing. It is a very narrow road. Only those that are truly on the road will understand how it feels. I know. Only those who are on that narrow path will know how it feels. When you try to explain it to others who are not passing on that narrow road, they cannot understand. I know. Sometimes it can be frustrating. Sometimes it can be tiring. Remember what Job said. Job said, though he slay me, I will serve him. Serve the Lord. And he will give you the solution that you want. Don't go back there. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.